Pete, thank you. Good morning. A quiet start to the Saturday morning commute, but there are a couple of incidents that we're watching. We'll start here with the Eisenhower Expressway. As you take a look at the outbound side, you can see a little bit of a delay approaching Harlem Avenue. We had a crash there. A couple of lanes taken out. Uh, crews are in the process of getting that accident cleared up right now, so we'll keep you posted on that. Otherwise, on the city's west side, if you're headed to the Riot Fest this weekend, the final outdoor summer concert uh, festival of the season, keep in mind CTA is adding extra service. That's on the pink line and the number 12 Roosevelt bus. Now, I was over there yesterday. Ogden, Sacramento, and California near Douglas Park are all open, but traffic got pretty much gridlocked in that area. So keep it in mind if you're traveling near the medical district, specifically Cedar sinai over in that area. That's a look at traffic. Michelle? Pete, good morning. Not a bad forecast for concert goers headed toward a riot fest this weekend and not a bad start to the Saturday morning commute either. We'll take a look at the Eisenhower Expressway. Good news there. In our first report, we talked about an accident at First Avenue. As you can see, out of downtown toward the Tri-State Tollway, everything moving okay so far. That accident has been cleared. Now, the Eisenhower is okay for now. That'll change. Cub their home again today at Wrigley at 3.05. Uh, the Brewers, the opponent there. CTA Redline will help you avoid a lot of delays because between the concert, the Northwestern game tonight, and Riot Fest, a lot of extra traffic on the Kennedy Expressway headed north. Take a look at the Kennedy Expressway now. Road work on the inbound side supposed to be being picked up around 6 o'clock. However, two lanes on the outbound side right around Harlem Avenue. Those are going to stay closed until 8 o'clock. That's a look at traffic. Back to you. Pete, good morning. 622 here as we take a look at the roads. You know, uh, one advantage that we see sometimes to the uh, overnight rainfall is that it tends to prevent overnight construction from being put into place. So we're seeing the benefits of that this morning. Expressways and tollways all moving at the posted speed limit. Now I want to focus on some construction you'll see throughout the week on the Stevenson Expressway. This began on Wednesday, taking place primarily in the overnight hours. Lanes will be closed on the southbound side around Cicero Avenue. So keep that in mind if you do overnight traveling toward Midway Airport. No problems on the west end of I-55, but keep in mind NASCAR running today in Joliet. Parking lots open just about 40 minutes. Uh, the race itself starts today at 2 p.m. Otherwise, I-80 looks good. Keep in mind, Briggs Street closed just south of I-80, so you can exit at Briggs, but they're going to reroute you to Mills Road instead. That's a look at traffic. Back to you. Thank you. 654 here as we take a look at the roadways off to a pretty decent start, but I want to start in Joliet. Keep in mind racing going on all throughout the weekend at Chicagoland Speedway. Rain impacted last night's proceedings. Looks like today is going to be a little bit better. Uh, the race itself starts at 2 o'clock. Keep in mind parking lots open in a few minutes at 7 o'clock. So if seven hours of tailgating is in your future, you can get started on that shortly. Uh, we'll also see some heavy traffic today on the north side. Cubs are home again today against the Brewers at Wrigley at 305 p.m. Plus just west of there in the Lakeview neighborhood. Southport is closed at Addison. The Lakeview Taco Festival going on. Two stages of live music plus professional wrestling. So there you go. A lot of traffic today in the Lakeview neighborhood. That's a look at traffic. Back to you. Morning 818 with one final check of the traffic here. Just getting word that CTA is rerouting the number 77 Belmont bus. That's in the Lakeview neighborhood between Halstead and Inner Lakeshore Drive. So a few extra minutes if you're traveling on the north side this morning. Take a look at the city's west side. Right now we're watching a, a lot of activity around Douglas Park in the North Lawndale neighborhood. Riot Fest continues throughout the weekend. Morrissey performs tonight. Now I headed out there yesterday and traffic was basically gridlock on California heading south from the Eisenhower Expressway down to the festival itself. Streets are open. California, Ogden, and Sacramento. But again, a lot of parking restrictions in effect. So if you're traveling near the uh, medical district, particularly near Mount Sinai, you're going to want to leave yourself a lot of extra time traveling toward the hospitals and be awfully careful where you park. And keep in mind, in Joliet, parking lots are open. Tailgating has begun. Uh, racing going on throughout the weekend there. Let's look at traffic. Back to you.